Joe Biden and Kamala Harris inaugurated a course on Wednesday in Washington, but uh, Mr. Trump's Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, leaving his job, of course, has accused China as one of his final acts of committing genocide and crimes against humanity in its far western region of Xinjiang, which is likely to be one of his last acts. He said an investigation had concluded that Beijing had been systematically trying to destroy the Uyghurs and other minorities there since March 2017. The man who will replace Mr. Pompeo, Anthony Blinken, has told his confirmation hearing he agrees with Mike Pompeo. Let's speak now to Nuri Tekel, he's a Uyghur American lawyer and human rights advocate. In 2020, I know you were appointed as a commissioner to the U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedom. Very good to talk to you. How significant would you say this statement is from Mr. Pompeo and agreement from his successor? This is a huge uh, development. And also, this shouldn't surprise uh, those who have been following the uh, development here in Washington, D.C., uh, this all because it shows the seriousness of uh, the U.S. government. We have been um, looking into the evidence. We've been looking into uh, the open source information put out by the Chinese government. We also have a credible witness and survivor, uh, survivor testimonies. And uh, it, it, the evidence is overwhelming that the Chinese government is committing uh, a genocide, a crime against humanity in daylight. We have been, uh, as a government, uh, as a government entity, uh, been uh, asking the U.S. government uh, through uh, uh, the facts and, and legal tools to evaluate this, uh, at least as early as uh, May of 2020. But it, it requires some time, uh, it requires some uh, investigation, uh, deliberation to come to this conclusion today. Uh, uh, when somebody commits a cry, crime, they should know that the crimes always have a label uh, as the case for the atrocities being committed against the Uyghur people in, uh, in China by Communist Party. Genocide is a very big word, of course, and carries all kinds of legal consequences. It still might not mean very much unless the rest of the world piles in on this, including the United Nations. And, of course, China and significantly Russia have a lot of power in that body. What chance do you think of real change when China is such a power in the world? Sometimes uh, a symbolic uh, decision uh, can be as important as the substantive decision. This is not a legal decision. Uh, this is a method. This is a, uh, a, a ways in which that the United States government uh, sends a message, a powerful message to those in Beijing, uh, formulating and quietly uh, engaging in these genocidal policies to eradicate, uh, stamp out this proud ethnic uh, minority, uh, ethnic group called Uyghurs and other Turkic Muslims. The United States government has been taking a number of uh, significant, historic, unprecedented steps to address the ongoing atrocities uh, for nearly three years now. But the international community has been uh, uh, quiet for the most part. This particular decision will uh, put our international partners, uh, particularly allies and partners, on notice that they too have a responsibility uh, to join the effort to shut down these concentration camps, stop uh, China's attempt to pollute the global economic system, dismantle this industrial scale uh, 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 prison system, and also let these uh, kids, we're talking about half a million, nearly half a million Uyghur kids, to return to their families.